So this is a case of a buried excavation and we will try to learn how to do composite restoration here. So you can see in this cavity there is yellowish dentine and uh, if you see it from sideways you will see a junction where there is white color enamel and yellowish dentine. Some of the teeth will have this kind of configuration so it sometimes helps you to do selective agent application which I have discussed in my theoretical video. Uh, it depends on which type of bonding you are doing and today I am going to teach you the fifth generation bonding technique where you have the uh, total agent application followed by bonding and then composite restoration. So this is an agent, generally it is blue color and you can see it is written 37% phosphoric acid. So this we are trying to learn under the microscope. So I will take you for a higher magnification so that you can appreciate it better. This is the maximum magnification which is really uh, helpful for series excavation and endodontics. So I will keep it here so that you can clearly understand. So what this etchant does is that it, it removes the smear layer, it removes the, uh, it etches the enamel and dentine and whenever you use etchant with any bonding agent system that is called as total edge technique when it is applied to enamel and the dentine. So here now I am applying the etchant, so the gel basically helps you to uh, restrict your agent application but since we are doing a total edge technique we want to apply it both to the enamel and the dentine so that is when it is called as the total edge technique if you only apply it to the enamel then it is called as the selective edge technique so once you apply this you have to wait for 15 seconds and then you have to wash so washing is very important so we are almost past the 15 seconds now and we we'll try to wash it so I hope you can clearly see after agent application it appears white uh, the appearance which uh, indicates that the Etchant has worked very well. You can see there is a white frosty appearance everywhere. So once your etchant application is done and you wash it, then you have to bond. And right now I have the fifth generation bonding agent from 3M. Uh, this fifth generation means it only has primer and adhesive in it but you will have to have the etchant separately so now this has to be applied both for enamel and dentine so you take the applicator tip this is called as an applicator tip you can see the bristles they are very small so they apply the bonding agent very nicely all over the two surface so you take a drop of the bonding agent and then you apply it everywhere. You apply it everywhere on the tooth. You have to rub it properly. You have to blow the air so that you remove the excess bonding agent. So after that you have to cure it with the curing light properly all over the surface for 15 to 20 seconds. You can always read the manufacturer's direction. Once you are done with that, now you have various types of composites available. You have the flowable composite it is written you can see this is 
a flowable composite okay which has lesser viscosity generally used in deeper portion you get different shades of composite for example this is the a2 dentin shade and then we also have the enamel shade so they tend to have more uh, translucent so we use the flowable composite in a deeper portion so you don't fill the whole cavity with it but you fill it 